What's up, guys? How's everyone doing today? Doing swell here. Thank you for asking. We are going to do another movie review. I do have my handy dandy trusty notes. As I've told you before, I don't remember these things. I'm not going to remember all these things. I have too much other stuff on my mind. Like, what's for dinner? Stuff like that. The important things in life. So guys, today the movie is <clears throat> Fear Incorporated or Fear Inc. Came out in 2016. I may butcher some of these names. We know how this goes if you've seen my movie reviews. I do a darn good job of butchering some names. So let's do it. Cast is Lucas Neff as Joe Foster. Caitlin Stacy as Lindsay Gaines, Chris Marquette as Ben Davidson, Stephanie Drake as Ashley Davidson. What? I think I got them all right. I don't think I stumbled at all. Holy cow. Let's get on to the story. <clears throat> Ben has a love for horror movies and being scared. He runs into a guy who promises all the scares he'll ever want. A company called Fear Inc. is hired to give Ben a scare he'll never forget. Ever. Guys, here's my thoughts, my opinions, and hopes that I did not put any spoilers in here. I may have, so just be aware. Just be aware, okay? Let's do this. The idea for this movie is pretty cool. Not sure I've seen a movie quite like it. You notice quickly that Fear Inc. copies their kills from a few of the big popular horror movies. That's their niche thing. Ninch? Niche? You get what I'm saying. For the most part, the acting is okay. For me, Ben doesn't deliver quite as well as the others. However, it could be due to the script or direction. There are some decent death scenes and moments where you aren't sure what's going on. Which is the whole idea. The cinematography isn't anything overly great, but it gets the job done. The practical effects were decently done with very little to no CGI that I really noticed. <coughs> um, the movie has a plot twist or two and can make you second guess things at times. I wasn't crazy about the very end twist, as I was just wanting everything to be normal, but I guess it leaves it open to more sequels, if you get my drift. Overall, it's nothing I'll probably watch again. I'm glad I gave it a watch, though. Your outcome may differ. I'm giving this movie a very not normal score of 2.8 out of 5. Now, yes, here lately I've been giving weird scores. <coughs> 0.7s, 0.8s, 0.6s, instead of like 1, 1.5, or 1.5, or 2, 2.5, etc., etc. Because it's giving me a little bit more uh, leeway in there. Because a movie might not be quite... A 2.5 but it might not be like a 3 so I gotta get off in there a little bit and start changing them up so to me it's a 2.8 out of 5 my opinion it's mildly entertaining it's a decent story okay acting uh, cool references to our movie uh, horror icons such as Freddy Jason uh, Leatherface all that kind of stuff um, yeah, so the movie is Fear, Inc. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. Hope you enjoy the video. 
please check out all my other videos. I do all this uh, for the fun of it. No monetization, no ads, no anything that I'm aware of. Uh, it's because I enjoy it. I like keeping my mind busy and doing things. So, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, all that good stuff. And most importantly, do not forget to get up, get out, get rad, do it to it, even when doing a movie review. We'll see you guys on the next one.